Hey there everybody, it's Jessica here from Jessica Smith TV. Today, I've got a travel friendly total body sculpting routine for you. So what you're gonna need for this routine is a resistance band. I'm working with a flat band that's approximately six feet in length of about a medium resistance. You might have tubing that you wanna use, you might have something else at home. You might also just wanna use dumbbells if you have access to them. So something for strengthening, and then we're gonna use something for sliding. I've got just a regular old washcloth folded up as a sliding tool. If you happen to have a sliding disc at home, you can use that as well. If you're on a nice surface like this, you can use socks. If you're on carpet, you could also use a paper plate. So just use what you have, make it work, do the best you can. That's all you're gonna need equipment wise. And of course, we need to make sure we warm up first. So let's take this into a side to side. Step tap, pull those elbows back behind you right off the bat. Check in with your posture. Make sure you're standing nice and tall. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. Nice, just give me two right here to the side, two back. Making it a little bit wider, sinking down a little bit lower, starting to turn on your thighs. Good. I don't know where Peanut is, she took off on me already. <laughs> a couple more, I'm sure she'll show up later though. Last two. Good, let's take a step tap, side to side. Again, use the legs. Let's take a reach across the body. Nice little twist. Make sure those abs are turning on. They're starting to hug the spine. Good. That's it, let's open up the shoulder a little more. Take a little shoulder circle here. Building the heat in the body. Making sure all of our joints and muscles are ready for the work to come. Good. Let's walk the feet in just a little bit closer. We're gonna sit back into a squat. Give me two counts down, two counts up like this. It's down, two, come up, two. So I want you to really sit back into your hips, keeping the chest lifted, pressing down through your heels. Good. Two more down and up like that. It's down and lift one more time. Down. I want you to take it down and hold it for me. Just a little pulse. Good. Shift your weight into this leg, lifting the opposite heel. We're gonna take a little tap out and in with this leg. Are you ready? Tap it out and in for eight. It's eight, seven, six. Keep pulsing that squat. Five, four, three, two, I know, feel the love. Hold it, center, pulse it again, both legs even. Good, start to shift your weight over. Lifting this heel, tap it out, tap it in for eight, seven, six, five, you're there. Four, three, two, Yes, side to side toe taps. Whew. Turn those knees and toes out slightly. Give me a nice wide stance. Take it into a little plie squat right here. Come down halfway. Adding that upper half, we're gonna take a reach overhead, pull down your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades down to your hips. Keep a nice tall spine, great posture. Good. Couple more, four, three, two. Now hold those arms out like goalposts. Give me a little pulse. We're gonna pick up this foot, rotating our knee and our hip into a side lunge like this. So you got your stick up arms. We're gonna rotate inside the shoulder, hold your lunge, take it down, take it up. Just warming up through the shoulders. Drop as low as you can in that lunge. Keep those legs working for me. Two more. Take it back to that center, pick up the foot. Reach, plie down, good. So again, focus on the back. Focus on pulling down with the shoulders. Engaging those back muscles. Couple more here. Nice, that's it. 
take this one down, pulse, beautiful, get ready. We're gonna hold and pivot, turning this foot in, turning the hip, hold your lunge position, rotate it down and up. Try to keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. Keep your shoulders and hips stacked. Low as you can in that lunge. One more. Yes, come on up. Toe tap it out, good. Let's just take a little dynamic stretch for the front of those thighs and the hip flexors. Hamstring curl right here. Hands up. Give me a chest press forward. Good, how you feeling? You ready to do this? Are we warmed up? We ready to go? Good. Let's take it into a walk. Go get your resistance tool. So if you're using dumbbells, pick them up. If you're using that band, go grab it for me. So we're gonna start off with some bigger muscles in our back and our chest. So starting with your chest, take that band across your upper back. You're gonna loop it underneath your arms. Now, if you're using tubing, you might need something underneath the band, like a towel or extra padding. Just make it work for you. Make it as comfortable as you can. Remember, you closer grip up on the band, more resistance, further away, less resistance. So adjust as you need to. We're gonna take it into that chest press again. I want you to just push out for two. Push out, pull back. Now, as you get going, that's where you're gonna know how much resistance you need, right? As the elbows come back, make sure they're not going behind your shoulders. I want you to keep tension in the band, pressing out, chest and shoulders working together here. Out for two, in for two. Keeping those legs going. So we keep that heart rate up too. Nice, good. Press and squeeze through that chest, resist coming back. So we're working evenly on the way out, but also on the way back. Working that eccentric contraction. I just need four more like this. Good, it's three. Give me two more. Good, one more out and in. Now we're gonna stay with that chest. Toe tap it out, turning out to that plie position. Elbows are bent. I want you to come down, plie pulse. Just watch this one first. We're gonna take a plie and punch across with our opposite arm. Looks like this. Down, press, down, press. Jump on in there as soon as you can. So we're adding a little bit of a rotation. Kicking those abs in, working through the chest, the front of the shoulders, and of course those legs. Check that plie squat stance. Knees are opening over, but not going beyond those toes. Again, stay strong with your resistance. Adjust as you need to. Good. Keep breathing. Good, another thing that's great about this workout is it's quiet. So if you're in a hotel room, or you're in the guest room upstairs, you're not gonna disturb whoever might be below you. Couple more, two, one, nice toe tap. Let's take a minute and switch to the back of the body. So we're gonna adjust the band. These start to melt together after a while. We sweat on them. Turn to the side. You're gonna put the band underneath your front foot. Make sure you have an even grip on both sides. We're gonna move into the back. So I wanna grip low on the band here so I have a nice level of resistance. Keep some tension in that band. Hinge forward from your hips. You're gonna lunge down, pull with your back. So I'm not gonna extend my arms all the way, but I'm gonna reach to either side of that front foot, lowering down to a little lunge, pulling with my back. Now the biceps are assisting here but focus on the back muscles, doing most of the work on that row. Good. Keep going. Couple more. Two. Now, hold in pulse. Reach a little bit lower on that front arm. Change your grip. 
So your palm is in, back arm's gonna stay at the back leg, and we're gonna do a little lawnmower pull with just that front arm, good. Focus on that back. We got eight more guys right here, eight. Pulling up to the side of that rib cage. Four, three, two, give me one more. Yes, take a second, release the band. Toe taps, coming back to your chest. So quickly adjust, good. Back to our side to side step tap. Push it out for two, pull back. Now second round, I'm gonna add a little bit more on that band. You do what works for you. Deep breaths. Nice. So we just wanna make sure we get enough repetitions in here to make sure we're really fatiguing these muscle groups. We're only gonna hit them once. Good. Out. Pull back. Check in with those elbows. That tension on the band on the way back in. You got it. Couple more. Just give me two to finish. One more time. Beautiful. Toe tap it out. Turn it out. Get ready for that plie punch across. Let's start with this arm first. Come down. Press. So remember, you're just coming halfway up out of that plie. Press across the chest. Abs into the spine. Make sure you can still breathe. So remember, when we say pull your abs in, you're not sucking in your stomach, holding your breath. I want you to think of really bracing the abs to the spine to give them support. Almost like you do kind of naturally if you lose your balance on a rocky ship or on a train that stops suddenly. Engage those deep core muscles. Last time, beautiful, toe tap. Let's get ready to set up those rows on the other leg. So turning it around, now we're gonna loop the band underneath the other foot. So remember, adjust your grip as you need to. We've got that lunge and row. Ready, down and up right here. Pull with the back. Check that spinal alignment. Keep that spine nice and neutral. Drop as low as you can. Adjust your resistance as you need to. Keep breathing. You got it. Pull with that back. Four more, then we're gonna go to that single arm lawnmower row. One more time. Hold and pulse. Switch your grip on that front arm. Palm in, maybe a little lower. Back arm keeps the tension. Ready? Here we go, row it back. Good. Come on, stay strong. Final four right here. It's four, three, two, one more. Beautiful, guys. Okay, let's take a break from the band for a second. Find your sliding tool if you're using one. So we're gonna flip it now and go into your lower body with a fun sort of lower body series. So make sure you have room to the side of you and behind you. So we're gonna put that tool underneath one foot. Most of your weight is in your standing leg. You're gonna take a side sliding lunge. Come up, slide, go back. So I'm gonna extend the leg that's sliding out. Most of my weight stays in that standing leg. Yeah, do it again slower. Down, up, slide it back. Good, up to tempo is eight. 
seven, back, six, use those inner thighs on the way up, five, your arms can do whatever you want them to do, four, three, good, two, one more side, one more back, yes, now take it side, hold it, bonus round, we're going to pull it out and in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, you guessed it, you got to go to the back two, reach and pull both arms, eight, seven, six, five, standing legs on fire, I know, ooh, lost my tool, give me eight more, it happens, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shake it out, Woo. Oh boy, here comes peanut, <laughs> okay. So, we gotta do that on the other side. Take a second, center, make sure you've got room. Make sure your dog's not going to take your tool. <laughs> We're gonna go slow first. Out, in, to the back. Do it again, deep breaths, out, and up, to the back. Adjust as you need to. Two more slow. Uh-huh. To the back. One more slow side. One more slow back. Get ready. Eight singles, side and back. Eight. Good, keep your weight in that standing leg. Sit back in your hips. This is six. Oh yeah, you're there, come on. Four. Three, looking so good. Two more sets. One more side. Here we go. Now, nice and quick. 16 to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Get ready to go back. Both arms reach. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to finish. Six, four, three, two. Oh my gosh, we did it. Take a second. I don't know about you, but I need to use that washcloth to wipe my sweat now. Okay, we're gonna go back to your band, back to your upper body, shake out those legs. All right, so we're gonna move on to the shoulders, biceps, and triceps. So I want you to stand on one end of the band so that you have enough room for the shoulders. Outside leg is gonna be tapped. Get that band ready at your shoulder, palm faces forward. We're gonna lift and lower. Now you could add an optional little hip extension, but keep it low. You don't have to add it, that toe can stay on the floor too. Press resist. Give me eight more here, it's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Now hold it. Change your grip, a little bit lower, palm up, biceps. We're gonna take this knee out in front with a little heel dig and a curl, a little coordination. If that's too much, just keep your heel tapped on the floor. See what works. Elbow in by your side, press. Keep breathing, you're doing great. We don't need a lot of time, a lot of space or a lot of equipment to get a great workout in, right? Give me four, three, two, one. Now before we move on, we're gonna hit the triceps. Changing the foot, just turning it out slightly. Pull your palm in, little long lunge, back leg is straight. Give me a kick back for that tricep, press. So adjust that band as you need to. Extending back from that elbow. 
Spine is nice and long. Think of making a straight line from your heel through your hips, out through the crown of your head. Good. Just four more. Last two. Woo, all right, shake it out. We're gonna do all that on the other side. So, standing on the other leg, test your resistance. Other foot taps, option to lift it or keep it on the floor. Are you ready? Overhead press, here we go. Good. Standing nice and tall. Deep breaths. You look so good. Are we sparkling yet? I know I dream. Lift. Good. Keep working those abdominals here. Four more. Last two. Take a second. Change that grip for the bicep curl. Get your foot ready if you're going to extend or keep the heel on the floor. Elbow into it tight to your side. Don't swing that arm. Pull up with the biceps. That's it. Nice. You got it, looking so strong. I need four more to finish. Last two. Amazing, let's set up those kickbacks. Change your stance. Go for that nice long lunge. Elbow in, palm facing in, kick it back. Adjust your grip, adjust your resistance so you can get that full extension back with the arm without swinging it, without losing control. Yes. Good, you got this. Really nice, stay strong with me. Last four, three, two, one. Really nice, guys. Okay, we're gonna put the band and the slider together. So, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see it. We're gonna take a sliding rear lunge and an upper back rear fly. So it looks like this. I'm gonna take a slower tempo. I'm gonna pull back, press forward. Pull it back, press it forward. So my weight has to stay in my front leg, keeping the knee from going past my big toes. Slide it back, pull it in. Make sure your chest stays lifted. You got lots of control here. Lift, pull. Lift, uh-huh, good, press, almost there, four more here, good, three, up, two more, one more time, now we're going to keep working the back and the inner thighs, I'm just going to move a little bit arms up. You're going to give me a straight arm pull down as that leg slides over. So pull, cross. Try to keep both arms extended. Standing knee is bent. Squeeze the inner thighs. You with me? Hang on, we're almost finished. We're on our last set of moves here. Good. Four more, please. Last two. Nicely done. Now, take a minute, set the band down. Yes, we're gonna do the other side, but not yet. Unfold that washcloth just a little bit more so that you can fit both of your feet on top of it. We're gonna come out to a plank position, hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. I want you to come in and tuck, slide it back. Exhale. Inhale back. We're only gonna do eight of these. Keep it controlled and strong. Four more. Two more. Last time, take it back and hold. You can stay out here or go to the knees. 
I need eight push-ups down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me two more, come on. Beautiful, take a moment, breathe, regather, fold over. We're gonna do all that on the other side and then we're finished. So take a second, stand up slowly. Find that disc or towel or whatever you're using to slide. Find your band, rear lunge, rear fry pull. So we go down and up. Make your adjustments as needed. I'm getting stuck on the floor here. Good. It's because I've been sweating on the ground. Good. Pull back. Lift. Use that upper back. And guys, you know, things are never perfect. My tool comes unraveled, I get stuck on the floor too. Just make it work. If you gotta get rid of the disc, step back to a lunge. Find a way to keep moving. Life's gonna throw us challenges. It's how we deal with them and find ways to keep moving forward that counts the most, right? Good. One more. Hold, turn towards me. Work that inner thigh with the slide and pull down. So remember, arms stay extended, inner thigh crosses over. Standing knee is bent. Find your center, find your balance. Use those inner thighs. Nice job. You got it. Eight more, really pull down strong through the back. Beautiful, final four. Last two. You got it. Take a second, get rid of that band. Unfold your towel. So we're gonna go back. You know, you look like how we feel right now. We're gonna go back to those tucks. Extend, slow and controlled for eight. So I gotta keep my weight over my hands here. Try not to shift your upper body. Use those abdominals to drive the knees into your chest. Exhale, inhale. Two more. Last one, we're gonna finish those push-ups. Take it out, knees or toes. Eight solid push-ups, here we go. Eight, seven, make them work for you. You can adjust your hands to whatever feels good for your shoulders. Focus on pushing through your chest. One more. Breathe. Take a minute. Let's just slowly come back up off that floor. Great thing about your towel is you can use it to wipe your sweat too if you're using one. So we wanna let the heart rate come down safely before we finish up. So take some nice deep breaths. Kind of shake everything out. You made it, you did it. You fit in a workout. Even though you might be traveling, you might be really busy right now, give yourself a little pat on the back. You just did a total body strength session, a little cardio bonus in there. So you got two things done all at once. If you want to continue on, Peanut and I are here for you. We have tons more free full leg work workouts here on our channel. If you're done for the day, awesome job. Keep it up. We can't wait to join you for another session soon. Take care, everybody.